Well, Sharon, Kate. Katie Hughes. How are you? How are you? Well, I'm Great How to lovely see to see you. Yeah, you. Fancy meeting you in a place like this. It feels extremely surreal looking at this now and looking back on what happened following the story that I covered here 14 years ago. Peter Moore may not be a suave knight in shining armour like megastars Richard Gere and Sean Connery in the spectacular film chosen for the grand reopening of Denby Cinema tonight. But he's certainly to the rescue when it comes to saving the silver screen from extinction. Coming back here now, it's all flooding back to me. It was the 3rd of August, uh, 1995. It started out, it was quite a slow news day. When Cardiff phones, you can't say there is no news today. And we um, happened to pick up on this Peter Moore story and thought, that's really good, quite a nurturing story, bringing the cinema back to the local community. Yeah. The buzz there, something was happening and Peter was setting up, ready to, to open. And there was going to be a lot of children and parents. And it really was that entrenched the whole, you know, encapsulated the ethos of the local community, bringing people together. We did an interview with him and I do remember feeling particularly uncomfortable. There was something that it wasn't tangible, I could, something I couldn't put my finger on. And afterwards when we'd finished the interview and we said our thank yous and we both felt the same that it was inserting, interviewing this man. Um, there was something about him we couldn't uh, quite articulate. But we remember saying he couldn't look us in the eye. I later heard the news that a man had been arrested. And when it transpired that it was Peter Moore who had carried out these series of, of slayings of brutal murders, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I felt quite sick because I thought we'd been literally eyeball to eyeball into this cinema and talked to this man who it transpired had murdered four men in a spate of just months and also who's, who's been described by um, a leading barrister as one of the most dangerous men to ever set foot in Wales. I felt physically quite sick. When I came here today it made the, the hairs on the back of my neck um, quite prickly. I just would like to, if I do come back again, I would like to see flats here, I would like to see it put to rest as it it's were. It's incredible to think what happened here all those years ago, especially when you look at this now derelict building. But it did happen, we were there. So for the final time from the Futura Cinema in Denby, it's me, Katie O'Hughes. And Sharon Kane. Saying goodnight.